Okay, this is the Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting for October 25th, 2018. And present is Louis Mission. And Ben Byrne. Okay, let's see. Uh, 708. And let's see, I guess we also get right into it here with some old business. And that would be the railroad uh, solar panel project. And uh, I'm not sure where we should start, but uh, I guess with uh, Kyle there. Come on up, state your name. Kyle Purdy from ERM. I'm probably going to be followed by my colleague momentarily, yep. too. Um, she has the most revised plans that we submitted yesterday. Okay. These are just the ones from Monday, but if we have any exact questions. Yeah, those are the ones that were delivered by mail you have? Yeah, that was the... Yep, that's the latest and greatest. That, this is the latest? Yep. And you have some coming, you said, or...? That it's the same exact oh. ones that you have. Okay. So do you want to explain? Uh... Yep. So we had a, uh, a site meeting on October 10th that we met with um, GZA, our client, um, to review the site. And, and we uh, recorded the wetland delineation. Um, while in the field, we did some adjustments both to a wetland located in the northern array as well as the one in the southern. In the northern array, um, we actually had this wetland right here. Um, we put a point to it because we found that the soils were consistent with the ones in the wetland as where we marked as originally upland. So we placed that new flag in the field and GPS located and updated the plans accordingly. And then with moving that flag in there, our 100 foot uh, buffer zone impacts increased. So we recalculated that area. But we are still, our solar panels are still outside of the BBW. Okay, so there really wasn't any change just in the plans then? Just uh, one more flag? Yep. And then, if you need me to come up and point it out, in the southern array, yep. we added four yeah, flags. Be the... I just didn't know. Yep. And then down in here, we added four flags. So originally we had a IVW right here, and then a BBW over here. Um, after taking some soil plots, we noticed that they were one and the same. Um, you can see the existing topography here. Um, that kind of shows that Toa slope. Yeah. So we just continued it up and around. And uh, we concurred with GZA's determination that they are the same wetland. They're one continuous one. And um, labeled both as BBW. And then adjusted our design um, from our original submission. We had this, these two rows extend all the way to this berm right here. Um, so because of uh, the project wanting to avoid BVW impacts completely. Okay. So shorten these up, you're yep. saying? Yep, and we did, we adjusted some grading in that area, um, but we pulled our design out of there just to make sure we avoided all impacts to BVW. So okay. that was the um, wetland delineation side. And then for the stormwater review, um, GZA had comments that we received. Um, there was a lot of uh, details as far as like BMPs that we utilized and call outs for like uh, grassland swale that we showed in um, the site plans. So we updated those accordingly to meet those. And then in the supplemental cover letter, um, we spoke to each one and how we changed uh, both the stormwater calculations, design, and report to accommodate GZA's comments. So those are in red here? Yep. Just the red, is that? Yep, so I, I started the red one, and then on the next page after that is our um, civil engineer, Banesh, who did yep. the stormwater design. That, that's their um, response to each as well. And then okay. they're the ones that did the plans and yep. 
Okay, so they did the changes according to yep. this and GZA there. The, the biggest one was um, originally when they did their drainage calcs, they considered this all one watershed. So we split that accordingly um, and they made sure that they, they did the hydrocad calculations to accommodate um, not only the different drainage basins um, within the site, but uh, some of the existing catch basins as well. So they included the calcs for some stormwater that's coming in from um, the other side of River Road too. Okay. And in that supplemental package that you have yeah. is the revised stormwater report too. So the checklist also changed, the report changed. Well, I did see on the checklist and maintenance uh, yep. on it, did that change or? Yep. So originally we had uh, proposed like as needed for clean outs of basins and clean outs of um, inlets and, and um, similar BMPs. Uh, so looking back at the stormwater uh, regulations and with GZA's comments, we made those definitive um, and then made a specific, you know, Time twice water. a year, yep. <clears throat> and when the inspections would occur and that's in the back of their long-term operation and maintenance plan. Yeah, I did see, let's see, oh, through the checklist or after the checklist you're saying? Uh, yeah, it should be the, the final pages there. I know I saw it here somewhere, but yeah, the maintenance I did. Yeah, the, the final three pages is our um, long-term operation and maintenance plan. So you're saying you're all set, you believe I, in? I believe so. Um, we had been in discussions with GZA about some minor tweaks since last week, um, and we, we accommodated those, those comments, um, and then we were just presented GZA's report too with their findings. Okay, now, now this is, uh, Okay, this is the final GZA. Yeah, Dan Nietzsche from GZA and uh, Nate. Nate Russell. He's the engineer, so he did the uh, review of the stormwater and I did the review of the wetland delineation and the notice of intent. Okay, and uh, this is uh, your final review. Is that it after discussion and the changes? Yeah, in terms of the wetlands, I'll speak to that side. We're perfectly fine uh, with Kyle. We, mo we made the moves. The five different flags yeah. got moved in the field based on field conditions. Uh, we feel very comfortable with that. There's a table in there of the different resources that we did look at and then uh, any suggestions we made for flags that should change. Um, what, is, what I'd like to just make the commission aware is we're not asking, we're, we're not approving, or I should say we're not confirming the entire wetland delineation on this property. We're only confirming the wetland flag numbers that are actually in that table. It's a smaller subset. The reason being, there are some places of the wetland that are 500, 600 feet away from actual work. So what's the point? Yeah. They didn't really care that the whole property was delineated and approved. They wanted the work area that was closest to the you know, to the work yeah. area. So yeah. Yeah. No, I, that's all. I so we made, yeah. made try to be more judicious for the, their time and money. Uh, to get that done. Yeah. So. so you're happy with uh, flagging for all the wetlands that yeah. are in, in the work area or yep. within the 100 foot buffer? Exactly. Yep. We're comfortable that the line out there now is as accurate as it can yeah. be yeah, for the project. And then so Nate can speak to the uh, uh, to the stormwater part of it. He had a few more questions on that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we, uh, we're satisfied with the responses and the changes to the plans that we've seen uh, from Banesh and the RM based on the comments we provided. We feel it's a, a design that's compliant with the state and local regulations. Okay. And uh, now, how's the water? Is there re retention ponds or set up? Or? The uh, the results of the calculation show a reduction in peak discharge rates under the three design storms that reviewed the two, mm -hmm. the ten, and the hundred. So, based on that, there is no requirement for uh, on-site detention. Okay. 
there's also, I don't know if Kyle mentioned this, but uh, there's no increase in impervious cover. So there's no water quality treatment requirement as well. Uh, water quality treatment as defined by the regulations is based on impervious cover. So it's actually an improvement, I would it's say. A, yeah, it's yeah, potentially yeah. improvement, yeah. <laughs> you help for that area. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So. And the reason that we had them look at it as two drainage areas or, or subcatchments as opposed to one is because there are at least two catch basins that drain off site. Um, by the regs, each of those is considered a point source discharge. So they should be treated individually. Okay. So this is, uh, okay, so this is the final, given all your uh, comments and review, re final review and approval of what, what you saw, what they've done for the final drawing here. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, one thing I'll note is obviously there's a lot of paperwork that's <laughs> come through. So yeah. we did not attach everything to this. We've referenced the various submissions. Uh, on the first starting on the first page yeah so rather than give you a document that's you know four inches thick those are all available electronically if you need them uh hard copies we can certainly produce that for you but uh, in this, for the sake of saving a few yeah, trees no. uh, we, we, we simply listed those i don't we, like seeing stuff like this you yeah, know yeah, yeah. the only <laughs> the only attachments here are, are items that you either haven't seen before or that were only submitted via email so yeah. we're producing okay. hard copy for for record, for record. All right. Uh, now, for order of conditions, do you foresee anything we should, uh, you know, maybe you spotted while you were reviewing or, or just pretty much general, the plans go by the plans? I would just go by the plans. I mean, in terms of wetland protection, I think that the you know, standard ENS controls that's on the plan seems yeah. adequate for that type of site. It's not a large watershed to the different areas of the property. It's fairly level, I mean, yeah. not perfectly level, obviously, but it's fairly level in, in shape, so you're not going to get a lot of concentrated flows and erosion happening on the site. Um, so it seemed adequate for, to just go ahead with the standard. With, the as, typical as standard per, yeah, as per plan. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. I just yep. just wanted to. Yeah, I think the uh, you know I think the SWIP will be provided at a later date, so that doesn't necessarily that's part of that's in the regulations. I don't think that needs to be a special condition necessarily. Yeah. Okay. I think you're happy that it's you're one step closer. But yeah, I I see no uh, no other issues. I'm, I don't know if any comments out there or questions or anything. No? John? Hey, so I just want to say I'm John Wheat from the planning board, and I think I'm just observing this, so I appreciate getting the letters and everything. So we might have a couple more questions about the stormwater sure. management plan when it comes to the planning board. Mm -hmm. but, um, and then I guess there's a new site delineation plan, too, that we'll, we'll get. Yeah, that was incorporated into the revised plan. But so, well, this is obviously the first step in the uh, the technical review. Yep. So, it's going to be helpful for us. Okay. I guess as uh, per our requirements, uh, we'll put our stamp on it and on to the yeah. next branch of the tree. Yeah, I think, you know, just as per the plans and the uh, Kind of like, say special provision type things, you know, your maintenance plan and stuff. Yeah. We'll sign off on it. Thank you, gentlemen. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, Kyle, did yeah. you? How many sets did you give us? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Well, John will oh, probably, John will probably, he'll, he's got one. Did you get the one in the mail? <clears throat> I can give you one right now if you need an extra. I'm sure it's at the office. Yeah, because I, I got one. It must, yeah, maybe there was one for John, too. Yeah. If not, we'll give you a call. Yeah, of course. All right. And we'll uh, sign off on it.
with the conditions. It's just being built as per plan submitted. New plans, revised plans. Let's see when we're. Conditions to be road and control as per plans, revised plans submitted 10 So I got to put down, I didn't put this number of signatures, two. Reports for Cumbies? I did not. No, you did not. I couldn't remember. I was if uh, Priscilla sent you copies or not. I might have gotten some in an email, but I don't remember. Probably. Right. I'm not sure. They just started sending them. I'm not sure. Okay. We, we have them here, but we can do we can do that after. Let's see, Keats Road. Okay, I guess we got uh, <coughs> some new business. Notice of intent on for Keats Road. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yeah. If you could state your name and for the, over at the mics there, please. Yes, I'm David Haynes for the applicant, uh, for Dan Malpe, they're also here. And uh, we're here to, uh, with a notice of intent to install a, a utility, electric utility line, uh, two poles, uh, re replace one pole and install one new pole. Um, and then uh, go to a trench to, to gain access to the, provide electricity to the to the site. I've got the plan if I can Yeah, if you could come up come and up and point it out to you. Just show us. Uh, this is a site as part of a larger twenty acre. Well actually it's this is a small one lot and then the rest of this land which is under a conservation restriction is is there. Um, this is the driveway coming in. Culvert that's collapsed is right there. There's a there's an util, existing utility pole up here um, that apparently has to be replaced. It's in rough shape, and also they want to make it taller. Up in here, they will replace it. Um, it the plan doesn't really say that, but that is the, the intention. We've got a straw bottom around it. Um, and then a new pole will be placed right in here. This is the bordering vegetated wetland right in here. There's a little intermittent stream that flows through, through a culvert here, farm crossing, and then under the road through there. Um, we're proposing, this is all lawn, since you were now, um, this is all lawn area uh, and fenced in over here. 
We're going to put a, a straw waddle or a silk fence, whichever you prefer. Right here, the straw waddle would probably be easier for everybody. Um, and putting a new pole in here, running an overhead wire from there to there. There's a tree here and a tree there, and it fits right through it. Um, and then going underground with a conduit, a trench, and then with a conduit around and up like this. Um, all underground from that pole. Uh, there is a tree that we saw uh, right here. We can we'll, we'll, we'll uh, curve it a little bit to try to avoid some of the roots. Um, this pole is actually going to be pulled out uh, a little bit farther than was what it's shown in the plan. It's going to be out at 10 feet from the property line because it may be considered a structure and that would be in a side yard setback and that's a zoning issue. But, just to fix it. So it may be in a slightly, but still inside of that straw waddle, as we talked about yep. in the field. Uh, this will go in, uh, be buried, be loamed and seeded, um, and back to its original condition. There's some shrubs in here that they're probably going to try to avoid the shrubs and pull it out a little bit, but um, really still outside of the 50 foot setback from the, from the board of vegetative level. Um, the house is being constructed, it is outside of the buffer zone, but there is a little bit of grading that going on and a little bit of disturbance in this area um, that is in the buffer zone, but this is all still graded towards the driveway. It's not flowing, the wetland is out in here, it's not flowing towards the wetland that way. Um, and so this will be all loam and seeded and that will be stabilized. The house is almost completed. Septic system is over here. Um, it was put in as a repair for that this house, and um, it's going to be used for this house. This house is not going to be used anymore as a dwelling. Um, so the this is over here. The existing well is up here, um, already in, and, and serves the house. They're going to have to redo the water line right in this area to bring it to the house. And that's. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And that's basically our story. And we're sticking yep. it. Yep. No, I was out there, and uh, it's pretty much just just grass lawn right through here, and and you just put the erosion control down there, and and then it's uh, see, so you got erosion control coming to the we already shed. Put, yeah. We already put this in after because it's working. Yeah. Us. So just, but all it is is grass. You're gonna. The, Trench will be probably, I'm not sure what electrical is, it's two and a half, I think, I'm not sure, usually. I think that's it. And, uh, you know, you, you put the conduit in and then you yeah, backfill it and that'll be it. And then the wire goes in after that. So, I, I see uh, no issues other than, uh, you know, the erosion con control has got to be done first before any work starts. And, that, that would be it. Should be trade, <clears throat> pretty straightforward. Anybody who's got any comments or questions out there? Yeah. Hey, John, wait, I'm in <coughs> So I guess I'm just curious, wait, is it going over our property or uh, no? It's not going over your property. John, just. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch all of them. It's, uh, what he's doing, he's tying into the. The pole out in the street, up the hill, this way. up the hill we're from leaving, the driveway. We're leaving your pole alone. Oh, so you're coming right down. You're coming okay. right straight down. across. Right. Just re putting in a pole here. Oh, okay. And then trenching it up around like this in the lawn on the other side of the fence. And then so the pole is on the, the pole is right next to the driveway. Yeah, it's actually going to. It's this shows it six feet off of the property line, yeah. but it's going to be put in greater than ten. We can we can still be inside of this the straw waddles in here mm -hmm. so we can put it in there and and so it isn't a, in, in any kind of a structure within the side yard setback mm -hmm. so and they're good. just so that's going over yeah he says that, that they'll run it that that yeah. whole way wire overhead wire I mean, that was his suggestion of the electric company is that distance and they said that that so a new pole here too Oh, it, well, it, it looks pretty rough, that pole that's up there. Oh. <laughs> It'll spend there for a while. <laughs> it's got a support on it, probably. Yeah. So. so then, um, I mean, this is 
not necessarily, well, it actually is saying it's potentially in this committee. So, so the current um, conduit for electric, what happens to that? Uh, I imagine we'll just stay in the ground. Right. I, don't know that. I, don't, I don't know what typically happens there. Um, or is it buried all the way? Yeah, and it's, I think it's, again, it's. Well, the power company would have to shut it off once, would, once the it, other gets it, tied it in, off, I would think. If it shut off, the, uh, the, um, the wire could be pulled out of a conduit so there isn't any wire there yeah. isn't any danger there. I'd imagine they're not going to disturb it any more than they have and, to, probably. And, well, that's probably not. I don't disturb it. It's curb your lawn or anything else. If they don't have to take it out, I'm sure they don't want to. Because <laughs> right. I, you know, I'd said you could go under there, go under there properly. I thought, I thought maybe that's what you're going to do, but they don't want to do that. That would well, a little less digging too. Well, I thought they could use the same conduit. You know, oh. have to do anything. Like I didn't know what was up there. Stuff. I just yeah. I, uh, I, you know, I don't know. Dan, you couldn't use the original conduit. No, it's too small. But that's I mean that that was a, that was a question I guess we had, and I said it was fine. Well, I understand. We thought it would be wise to do what the electric company suggested. And then the other one just stayed there and stayed on the ground. I guess so. I mean, um, it's better than ripping it up and ruining your Yeah, life. yeah, that's what it's That's what normally any, any type of old abandoned pipes and stuff, we usually just, just plug in and just plug it, just plug it and leave it alone. Right. And, and somebody else will carry my wire so it's carry it. Yeah. All right. sections a partial so we're just signing off on okay how about you it's a partial cert see attached explanation and there's what Priscilla was talking Yep. The original OCC recorder BK6686, page 184, dated 51915, regulated a larger per parcel. The larger parcel of land has since been subdivided, creating parcels B and C, shown on the subdivision approval. <coughs> 
not required plan dated 9-30-16 in recorded book 140 page 41 parcels B and C are no longer considered a party application applicant's original project boundary and therefore not regulated by the aforementioned order of conditions got it <coughs> so gotta place the sign and I guess that just they just want to make sure that it even though yeah, it doesn't interfere with the other half yeah even though our order conditions <coughs> I think you know cover just that other but keep everybody happy talk to Priscilla on all this stuff and here's the whole thing on it if you wanted to no, I remember most of it yeah oh this is all the stuff we did sign see that yeah because they talked about the lot C yeah they're gonna do the whole lot and then they kind of see and where's where's the other one there C C and 1A. 1A, B is going to be over in here. Yeah, parcel B. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, parcel B is this one, yeah. Yep. Yeah, see, lot two area. Okay. Okay, what else we got here? We got a request for comments. Okay. Did you take any comments? Public comments? Uh, not yet, or? Okay, it's on point or? I just have one other issue I didn't know if I could remember. Yeah, and uh, let's see, I just wanted to. Yeah, we're going to give you the let me Let me just do, uh, yep. and we're getting ready for comments. Okay. Where's comments? <laughs> Elm Street, okay. Where did I just see? Oh, here they are. So, yeah, I stopped by Cumbies. And they're building the arch out there. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, I saw that. And one. they're pumping into that uh, filter tank and as needed. Yep. It looks good. So here's the, uh, I guess we just got one today, but I don't think she, it came when she was printing it up. Five, ten, yeah. So there's just the, uh, the required to give us the. Oh, I like pictures. Reports. They got a. So everything's, they're happy with it, it seems, so. There's that filter, uh, yep. frack tank, they call it. And they were pumping. They said they got a pump. That water starts coming up. Of course, they were down for the footing, so. Yeah. But well, looks pretty good. They're moving along, so. Continuing as planned. Yep, so. I'll have to have Priscilla's CC on the reports. So we're just continuing with those. Update. Okay, sir, on that we did. Let's see. Partial. <coughs> Keith's row, that was that was good. Let's see, agenda. Yep, two ZBA requests for comments. When you get yeah, that's right here. Inquiry regarding possible addition to building at 141 Greenfield Road. Okay. That's the agenda. Okay, 
request for comments. Contractor's yard at five industrial. We're here from here for the industrial just if you have any questions. Okay, yo, that's what we're just Yeah. Just if you have any questions, we're here to answer. Okay, contractor's yard at five industrial drive. Yes. That's the one you're uh just that one, right? For that. Uh, what is it that says the driveway? The, in the in the lot, at, you know where the property is yep. over on 116. So in the lot in the back, we have rented the um, parking spaces to Yankee for um, storage of their trailers. They're all registered trailers, and they're parking them there in the lot in the back. And then uh, Dedic had requested us to get a ZBA special permit. Dick um, Kalchewski said had said that the right way to do it is to do it through this contractor's yard. So we had applied through the contractor's yard special permit application. And the trucks are storage, you said? Uh, uh, no, we're they're storing their trailers there. Oh, just trailers? They're empty trailers for Yankee. Oh, okay. And then Yankee pulls them out of there, goes down to the factory in Waitley, gets yeah. the candles and brings them up, whatever, and then they go back and put them there. I don't think they've ever put full trailers there. No, always, all, empty. always empty trails. Yeah. They're and they're all, all registered. Okay. I think we'll uh, stamp our typical comment. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> typical comment. <laughs> typical comment, no comment. <laughs> okay, and we got one for the... Another, another one for the railroad. 100 railroad out there for the solar panels. About the variance. That's from ZBA one's comment? Yeah. yeah. No comment. You know, we get the approved plans here, so yeah. you know. No other comments than that, so Okay. Got the one for one forty one Greenfield Group. Anybody from one forty one Greenfield Road? Here, about an addition proposed or thinking about. Where is that? That's the. Uh, I believe that's the animal hospital. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. They, oh. Yeah. They do want something. Yeah, another addition or something. Yeah. Because they came and we put a. Small addition on kind of the north, uh, southeast side or something. I think yeah. it was facing the mountain. Kind of, I think it was. I am missing. Yeah, that's the one we, we did look at that. So I don't know what. Well, we looked at it. We'll wait till there's more info on it. I guess. Enters the conservation zone. I guess we don't have a comment. Yeah. I'll have to look to see what what we did with that other one. So that went before you, John, didn't it? Uh, it didn't. I'm trying no. to think why it did not. There a. Um, it was only a 10 foot coming out or something like that. I know. There's, the, if it's 600 feet or more, it goes for a site plan review. So it's less than 600 square feet. But we also have something. Yeah, it was it was probably. Uh, if you do multiple, you know, extensions that totals over 600, then you got to come with. So it'll be interesting. To oh, see so maybe this next section will. Maybe will come with that. Did you want to see? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> okay. I guess. Uh, any other comments out there? Or? Questions or? So I, I come up official. So um, John, we did, did the planning board. So a question keeps coming up at the planning board about the um, any wetlands on the proposed Dollar General site. And I know you guys were out there a while ago. Yeah. So I think there's still I at least I don't think the planning board's been satisfied whether it needs to be done again or. So I don't know if you have any. Um, 
I don't think Opinion so. or, you know, I what? think I, I, I've read some comments yeah. from uh, <clears throat> or questions from uh, other people. Yeah. And what we looked at and going by what we approved, what we reviewed, we reviewed the site plan at two, at two one acre lots. And I think one of the letters that were out there and stuff, and you probably have it, that said we only looked at, they feel we only looked at the proposed work area. Yeah. That was a, a proposed. But uh, if you look at our comments, it, we looked at the whole lot, right. not just that little area. I guess that's where we got to go. Yeah. And, but and you see, if it says we approved on our. The RDA, we reviewed two one-acre lots. Okay. And if you look at the full dimensions, that covered that covers, that covers it. it. And so and I don't see how what, that other is related. That saying that you know we only looked at where yeah. the uh, storage proposed storage would be. Yeah. And then the other is the um, the state land in the front. Whether that was part of what you looked at. And then, of course, there was, you looked at it before the trees were removed and whether that matters. The trees. Well, now the trees are back. Yeah, they're down there planting new ones. Oh. The trees are all back. <laughs> Did not, you go by? Not as noticeable as they were before, I don't think. But, okay. They're not quite as tall. Yeah. But yeah. there's a, quite a number of trees in there. All right. I came, I came tonight and didn't get yeah, a good look at but, it. Yeah, you but know, take, take a look But anyway, there. so, they, so plant, I think... They planted them last two days. And that seems to be a question that we're all grappling with is the state property what do we have to review on that versus the you know because there is the um the right away there so yeah and there's some culvert and issues like that so all right just depends on what they want to do and how they want to do it yeah so i just throw that out there you know whether yeah. it comes no, back I, or, I, it comes back know, or not we but, looked at it and uh, like i say you know right. and it, it didn't say there was a this was just an idea of the storage yeah but we looked at the whole lot. All right. I mean, there's because there's nothing else there but to look at the lot. Yeah. And even if it was, we still have to look at the whole lot because you got the hundred foot. Right. You know. The buffer. Area buffer. So. All right. So we looked at the you know. All right. And we're. So that's good for three years. So. Yeah. And then and that's just the wetlands, and then we're going to yeah, do the it, stormwater. And we, we do, don't do it. Yeah, we don't so do we'll anything with the uh, anyway. water yeah. table or any of that yeah. stuff. All right. So you we know. have that coming up on November eighth, I think. So. Yeah. But, uh, All right. no, I, uh, you know, I think, you know, we're pretty happy just, you know, that we looked at it. Yeah. And there's no issues there. All right. And then, and I think one of the other things is I think we've, I don't know if we've found the paperwork yet. Part of it was we couldn't find the actual, uh, that you signed off or the minutes to that meeting. So oh. we got to make sure we get that in, in our file then. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we did sign off on the yeah. uh, request for determination and that's, uh, All right. You should All right. have, there should be a copy in there. We'll, we'll hunt it down. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right, so we got uh, minutes and mail. Minutes and mail, okay. <clears throat> okay, here's the minutes. Oh, just you and me again. Sure on the price. Yeah, I don't remember of any. Yeah. I'll have to uh I'll have to check with Priscilla. I'll circle that. Because part of it I'm not sure how that works with uh doing the stormwater with the planning board. Americans in 
We got two pager this time. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's where the baker's partial cert for C in the town of Greek. So that's from the That's right, I gotta check see if he submitted a plan with the with the landscaping. Okay, Cumbies. That looks. Yeah. I, uh. I submit that, uh. Will you approve the minutes? Yep, I'll uh, second. Of uh, September. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Review the mail. Agenda items. Marine. What's this? There's Steve. Oh, they still got Steve. That's interesting. Hmm. A couple water travel the length of uh, Connecticut River. Okay, what's this here? Does that mean if you're ever interested in taking a six day canoe trip, you can do it from <laughs> Canadian border down to Long Island? Six days, huh? Non-stop. You sleep in the... <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Those dams will be a little... Oops. Okay, copy of email to John. Mill Village. Oh, he's not there. Where's yours? I think you already gave me mine last week. Oh. Or last month. Oh, yeah, maybe I did. I forgot to take mine. All right. You all set with that? or? Yep. Oh, you get a magnet, too, if you need one. And then a month report. Because of the stuff we had last time. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, on September 4th, yeah, I think it's all old stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all old. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Looks like our next date for meeting will be November 22nd. That's what it is, 22nd. That's right, yeah, Thanksgiving. Going by here when's Thanksgiving. Then Christmas. Time to start doing Christmas shopping. When's Thanksgiving? What day? Twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. What's? I think. Twenty eighth. Twenty sixth. Twenty eighth. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's it. Okay. I guess a uh, motion for adjourn at uh, 8.56. I'll second that. 
Bye.